All those in YouTube land and to my family and friends who are probably the only ones watching this first video, at least for now. Um, my name is Ben. How are you? No, this isn't what this is about. My name is Ben. I'm 34 years old. I am a divorcee and I'm a father of four boys. Um, I'm a born again Christian, which has a lot to do with my life, has a lot to do with the way I think about things, has a lot to do with the way that I approach life in general. Um, and you'll hear me mentioning God and you'll hear me mentioning Bible verses occasionally and things like that, but I'm not a preacher and I'm not Matt Walsh. I'm not a, a controversial blogger. Um, so I'm not going to delve into controversial social issues of the day. I'm not going to delve into uh, the church versus the world. I'm not, that's not what this channel's for. Um, if I if I felt led by God to do those things, I would create another channel that 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 would be about those things. But at this point in my life, that's not something I feel like I I need to be doing. What I need to be doing is this. And this is just a form of accountability for me. And I'm just going to approach this elephant in the, in the video right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm a rather, I'm a big dude. I mean, you can see I got big fat fingers. I got chubby cheeks and, you know, quadruple chin. Because this is, this bad boy is bigger than a double. Um, I weigh right around 550 pounds, um, just under, um, at least that was the last time I weighed in. Um, for some reason I can't get the scale that I have that, that's meant to weigh people of my size. I can't get, I can't get that to completely work for me at this point. Um, so, um, I don't know exactly. Um, how much I weigh at this point, but the last time I weighed in was about was about a month ago, and it, I would say it's probably around the same, if not a little better, um, which is kind of nice. Um, the reason that I'm that I'm doing this is that I need a little help, and the help that I need is this. Um, there are two reasons that I weigh what I weigh. And those two reasons are this. I'm a food addict. Um, and if you don't believe that's real, go ahead and Google it. It's real. It's a real thing. I promise you it's real. Um, and the second thing is that I have what's called major depressive disorder. And major depressive disorder is what was formerly known as clinical depression. Um, so if you're watching this and you're wondering, what is major depressive disorder? Well, it's that. It's clinical depression. Um, it means that I live my life in uh, a series of normal phases and a series of valleys. Um, the valleys are getting better. Um, I haven't had a valley in two years. I've had what I would consider divots in the road here and there. But I'm able to go over them very quickly. Um, but I haven't had a valley in, I'd say, probably right around two years, actually. Yeah, it was about two years ago that I came out of the stupor that I was in. <laughs> um, so I, I can ma I'm managing my depression well. I, I'm doing well with the things that I need to do to manage my depression. Um... The food addiction is another thing. Uh, I go through spats where I do really, really, really well. Um, not, I'm not the best eater in the world. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm very picky. I don't eat veggies, which I know. Okay, I know. Um, <laughs> I have. I'm a super taster, which if you've ever heard of it. It's a crazy thing where I have more taste buds on my tongue than other, 25% of the population has this. A lot of people don't notice it. 
even if they are super tasters. And if they do, and if they are super tasters, if you're a super taster, there's two, two ways that that affects you. Either one, you're an extremely picky eater, or two, you're not picky at all. Like, Andrew Zimmer is probably a super taster. The dude eats anything. I mean, if you've seen his show, it's like, did he just really eat that? Did he eat a bug? Was that a buggy? Really? He ate a bug? Is that a bug? And, uh, yeah, no. That's not me. I am not Andrew Zimmer. Not even close. Um, I wish I had a more diverse palate, and I wish I was able to eat more. Um, I've started eating peas, which are really good for you. They're tiny little nutrient-packed little balls of beautifulness. Um, for some reason, I gave up peas a while ago, and I don't know why, because they're really sweet and they're really good. But bitter vegetables can go straight down into the inferno with the devil. Because I just, anything bitter, I can't drink coffee. Um, if I drink tea, it has to be super sweet. Or I can't drink it. Um, I just, and if I do drink coffee, it has to be like cappuccino or like loaded with cream and sugar to mask the bitter flavor of the coffee. I just, I can't do bitter. For some reason, it is the worst thing. Anything, anytime I feel that bitterness, it makes me want to vomit. So, um, that's why I have an issue with eating vegetables. <laughs> um, but peas are great. I'm enjoying the peas. So I don't have a super diverse palate because of that. And then it probably isn't just because I'm a super taster. It's also because I'm 34 years old and I'm stubborn. And at this point in my life, it's really hard. I mean, it's hard when you get to be an adult to retrain yourself to do things that you haven't done. You know? Like, I wish that I could train myself to you know, be a better housekeeper, because <laughs> that's another issue for another day, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a super diverse eater, and I wish I was, I really do, I wish that I had a more diverse palate, but that unfortunately is not me, so basically the way I kind of have to do things is I take vitamins, I take a, I take a multivitamin, which helps replenish some of those things that I'm missing because I don't eat the vegetables that I that I should eat. Um, but, um, and this is a big but, um, that's not going to just, that's not going to help everything. But I try to diversify like the types of foods I eat a little more. I'm trying to cut down on my carbohydrates. As I... I'm a chip guy. I love, love chips, love french fries, love potatoes in pretty much any form. Oh my goodness. Potatoes are amazing. Um, and I love pasta. Just love it. So I'm a carb guy. And so I'm really trying to cut down on carbs quite a bit and trying to get more of those healthy, like whole sprouted green things into my life. I haven't really tried quinoa yet. Or like chia seeds, which I've heard could be a good alternative to some things. Especially quinoa could be good for like, as an alternative to like rice and things like that. Um, a little wary, but, and especially the price alone of quinoa is a little bit daunting for me. Because not, not only am I not a rich guy, I'm... Not a rich guy. Let's just put it that way. We'll, we'll leave it there. I'm not a rich guy. Um, so anyway, that's smooth. That's beyond the point. The point is this. The reason that I'm starting this is for accountability. It's not, not really so much accountability, but as a way to strengthen myself, as a way to give myself resolve, and as a way to uh, just kind of keep people updated and keep myself motivated so that I see kind of a change every week. Because um, I'm not I'm not the kind of guy who stands in front of a mirror. You know? I'm not I'm not a preening dude. I'm not like 
Yeah, oh, cool. You are one attractive fellow. No, not me. But posting this video and posting videos weekly for me, especially me knowing. I mean, I'm looking at myself right now. It's like, ugh. Anyway, posting videos every week for me is going to be good because it'll give me the opportunity to kind of just have that visual, like, oh, I'm down a chin size. That's awesome. I don't look like I just have a blob of head seated on my shoulders. I am actually starting, you know, I'd love to see my neck again. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice to have a neck? You know, what's this? I mean, I got this big fat roll in the back of my head. I want to get see that gone too. But that's a huge reason that I want to do this. It's kind of a motivator to me, and I love hearing motivation from other people. And I don't want to just hear "good job, keep it going," but I want to hear your struggles too. Um, I want to hear about things that you're going through that maybe I can pray for you about or maybe that I can help you with or not help you with but give you encouragement to try to get through those things that uh, I'm just big on encourage I, I would lo I love encouraging people and I love it when I get encouragement I think everybody does I think that's something that everybody enjoys but I think in today's society unfortunately we don't do it enough for people and we don't do it enough for people we don't know which is I love people. I do. I love people. I'm an introvert, okay? But I love people. Being an introvert does not mean that I don't love people. It means that I have a limit to how long I can spend in the company of people that I don't really know. For I just need a few, like a little while to recharge the batteries, you know? Um, and part of being an introvert is that I, I care I just, I have a few friends, I don't have a lot of acquaintances, I have very few friends, like a, just a small, small, small circle of friends that I'm very close to, and um, this is a way also for me as, as an introvert and as a guy who, because of my weight and things, doesn't have the mobility that I would like to, it's a way to get my feelings out there and to contact people in the world and just find out how people are doing so i don't want this to be a one-way street i want you guys to communicate with me you know direct message me here comment below put comments in the little comment area i'll read them i promise because i that I would love for people to just comment. Tell me what you're going through. Tell me what maybe, is there something that I can motivate you with? Is there something, you know, is there a story you'd like to hear um, from my own life that maybe, maybe something that I can tell you? Or maybe there will be other people in the comments who have gone through the same thing and are, you know, maybe they can help you. Maybe they can offer you some really good advice or maybe they can just offer your shoulder and say hey man I've been there I've been there I'm kind of looking for that too I would love to hear from people who've been there who had the same kind of struggles with food addiction that I've had who had that kind of same just outlook on life where you know you really love food but you don't always love the right foods I would love to hear from people like that I want to hear from people who are struggling with anything so like I said, comment below, right down there, below the video, in the comment section. Comment section is always going to be open. I will never, ever close comments on a YouTube. But please, 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 and I'm begging you for this, okay? I did mention that I'm a born-again Christian, okay? Please, please, please. Any faith can post there, and I'm not going to judge anybody for what they post, okay? But please don't bash my faith and don't bash anybody's faith because faith in a world that we have today is a good thing okay I mean so be kind to people in the comments 
if you're mean, if you're nasty, I am going to block you. That's just, that's just how it has to be. This is about positivity. This is about good things. This is about good vibes. So that's, that's, that's the one caveat I'm going to say. But other than that, I want you guys to comment whatever you're feeling. I want, I want those comments and I want, I want to see them and I want to see people growing in this and I want to see just kind of this mushroom out and I want to see people saying, Hey, you know, this is awesome. You know what you're doing, you know, not to me. I, this isn't about me. I mean, this is about me obviously because I'm sticking my big old giant normal dome onto the screen, but I don't want it to be fully about me. I want it to start kind of just a pay it forward kind of thing. Like if you're struggling, put it down there. If you're not struggling, if, if you're having a great time and if you're having a great life, please post that down below too. You know, say, hey, things are going well for me. I'm here for you though. If you need anything, say that to other people. Reply on their comments down there, but keep it positive. Um, another thing that I'm going to ask is please try to keep the swearing to a minimum because I, I have sometimes have a problem with swearing. I will not swear in videos. You'll not hear that. When I'm with my friends, I do sometimes have a problem with swearing, and it's something that I'm dealing with and working with God on. Um, so... I will never, you'll never hear me utter a swear word in these videos, and I would please ask that you be respectful in the comments below. Comment, yeah, I'm mentioning the comments below, because I want you to comment. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's really all I wanted to say for now. Um, I'm going to try to post every Friday or Saturday a new video blog. Um, I would love to, and if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, or if you have anything that you think, uh, or if you have any questions about what it means to be a food addict, or, or anything, really. I mean, if it's an appropriate question, if it's a nice question, and if it's something that I think would benefit people to hear the answer? Yeah, I'll answer it. Um, also, um, I'll put it put down below. Um, there's an email attached to this, um, fatfaithfreedom at gmail.com. If you want to just email me privately, that's fine. I will respond to every email. This is a personal account, so it's 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 my account. So there's you know it's not like I have a crack team of people who are helping me with this. This is all me. Um, I'll answer you there. Um, you can also, uh, I have a, I think I have a Twitter account set up for this. If I don't, I will. I, I have my own personal Twitter account, which I'm not going to bring into this because I just, I comment on weird stuff on there, like pro wrestling, and that's not what I'm about on this video. Um, anyway, so uh, if I don't have one, I'll, I'll, I'll put one down there and um, I'll, I'll create one and I'll get it down there. Um, so, but yeah, email me fatfaithfreedom at gmail.com. You can find Fat Faith and Freedom um, on Facebook. Um, just search Fat Faith and Freedom. Um, and I also have a website that's actually a blog and I haven't posted in a while, but I am going to be posting within the next week, so watch out for that. My blog address is Fat Faith Freedom, all one word, no spaces, dot weebly dot com. Um, there are some blogs that I wrote back in March and April there, um, and there are um, like there will be forthcoming blogs. Um, so watch out for those. Um, I guess that's it. This video has gone way longer than I wanted it to. I promise you not every video is going to be this long, but the introduction video kind of has to be just so you guys kind of get the gist of what's going on. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, do your thing. All right. Peace.